एक प्रधान एक विधान एक निशान वो उनका स्लोगन था वो पॉलिटिकल स्लोगन था लेकिन आज भी ये ये मान्य अध्यक्ष जी ये बहुत ऑब्जेक्शनल है इस एक देश में एक निशान एक प्रधान और एक संविधान ये पॉलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट है मुझे लगता है दादा उम्र हो चुकी है एक देश में दो प्रधानमंत्री कैसे हो सकते हैं एक देश में दो संविधान कैसे हो सकते हैं एक देश के दो झंडे कैसे हो सकते हैं सर आई राइज टू स्पीक ऑन दी टू बिल्स जम्मू एंड कश्मीर रिजर्वेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल 2023 एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर रिओर्गेनाइजेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल टू Let me start by talking about situation in Jammu and Kashmir since Mr. Amit Shah took over as Home Minister. One of the major steps taken by him was to abrogate Article 370, then convert. the state of jammu and kashmir into two union territories one jammu and kashmir the other, other ladakh is the first time in the history of indian constitution earlier union territories had been converted into states and here mr amit shah worked the retrograde step or converting an converting a state into Union territory. This has never happened before. Now, before I speak on the bill, let me ask him through you, sir, what have you achieved? What have you achieved by taking these retrograde steps? The <coughs> militancy has not been controlled. only two weeks back we lost a major a command a company commander in the hands of militants two weeks back we and then we lost two captains of the army in kokarnat so this is the peace that has been brought by mr amit shah so what is the change taking place in jammu and kashmir has investment come in a big way has employment been covered granted in a big way no all that is happening is that some cultural and sports events are taking place in kashmir and we are showing to the tourists that all is well but not all is well in the state of denmark as hamlet used to say all is not well in the state of jammu and kashmir the governor just goes for this cultural and sports events he does not go to inaugurate factories he does not go to improve the cultivation of saffron in the valley the people of many of my friends including shatabdi went to kashmir recently he said dada speak about the unemployment in kashmir the kashmiri youth demand employment now let me before i go into the bill go into the history of jammu and kashmir 47 48 part of it is given in the statement of objects and reasons of this of the second bill that is in 47 that in 47 48 first aggression took place pakistan occupied a part of kashmir which is known as pok pak occupied kashmir then during 65 war and again during the 71 war parts of kashmir were troubled and the minister has given the total number 
total number of displaced persons has 1 lakh uh, uh, so total is 41804 families were displaced during the three wars that process has not been reversed what has happened in kashmir due to maybe misgovernance many action of commission and omission by the center kashmir went into the hands of militants from 89 to 90 and people were killed pakistan inspired militants ruled in the valley and we have gone through this time and that is the time when large number of hindu migrants went away from kashmir valley the suffering suffer of the these people their total families number are 46517 families who left during militants the total number is 158976 who have registered themselves as displaced persons the government promised much have they been able to bring back the hindu migrants the pandits who left the valley no they have not been able to now what is the road map mr home minister i asked through you sir nothing can be done in kashmir unless you hold election last election was held in 2014 for 10 years almost there has been no election how can you rule a state not giving power to the people to elect one person mr manoj sinha he was in parliament with us he has gone there as governor what is his connection to jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir should be ruled by people of hey jammu and kashmir har bisha pe kyun isko hatao par ye 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 disturbing man ha yes nahi 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 zarurat nahi hai ab bahut ho gaya badhiya please so he does not i have read i have read all the directions बेटे बेटे इज ए डिस्टर्बिंग एलिमेंट सर नहीं वो नियम की बात कर रहे हैं वो नियम की बात कर रहे हैं मुंबई इज ऑल्सो नॉट इन द हाउस सर सो माई डिमांड इज दैट यू अनाउंस ए टाइम फ्रेम फॉर होल्डिंग इलेक्शन टू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर नाउ यू है प्रोमिस्ड दैट there will be a reservation and the reservation will be changed to for obcs now it is mentioned as we can under privileged classes and you want to change that to other backward classes that is obcs now there is no state no assembly this is a state law and you are doing the law, making the changes here you are making a big change there for first time from migrant families they are nominating not more than two members one of whom shall be women from the community of kashmiri migrants people who belong to kashmir and who have left this was suggested recommended by the delimitation commission and also one member from displaced persons from pakistan occupied jammu and kashmir there is no legislative assembly why are you making this changes have a legislative assembly then bring the this amendment i do not know what is the hari the hari should be in having 
elections. I want to state, sir, that the step of the BJP government to abrogate Article 370, abolish the state of Jammu and Kashmir into an union territory and a union territory for Ladakh. I have told you that this is a retrograde step. They did it just to fulfill the BJP's election promise. Ek, ek Pradhan, Ek Bidhan, Ek Nishan, Yesa BJP, Shama Prashad Babu ke samay slogan hota. Ta usi ko pura kiye. Ye koi Kashmir ke logo ke liye nahi. Now, Kashmir has been a conflict point. It is India's position that Kashmir is an integral part of India. It's also India's position that the territory of Park occupied Kashmir, that should be brought back to us. Does the Home Minister have any time frame? as to when he is going to get Pak occupied Kashmir into India? No. Everything is in the air. He is bringing two laws. Sir, Kashmir is called the paradise on earth. The most beautiful valley anywhere. Now, will Kashmir remain only a tourist place? Now we'll have a tourist territory of Jammu and Kashmir, or it will be for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. I say, Sadan ki, is Sadan, is Sadan ki, Dada is Sadan ke, is Sadan ke, ek minute, is Sadan ke, jada tar manne sadashe, meri shayad mein 370 ke baad Kashmir gaya hai, to Kashmir aaj bhi, vesa hi hai jesa pehle tha. उनको बताओ मतो सुनते हैं पूरी बात को अभी कान कमजोर नहीं हुए उनके दादा जी सर दिस इज मैटर ऑफ ओपिनियन दिस इज दिस ओपिनियन इज वर्स बाय दोस हु गो टू कश्मीर एज टूरिस्ट ओ डल लेक शिकारा इज सो नाइस द चेरी इज ब्लॉसमिंग द एप्पल्स आर देयर ऑन द ट्रीज व्हाट अबाउट द पीपल ऑफ कश्मीर हु लिव इन बारामुल्ला इन अनंतनाग इन द वेरियस in Kokarnag, in various places of Kashmir. What is their condition? Kashmir is not for tourists. Kashmir is for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Give them back, sir. Ye kehna hai ki aaj mein asha karta hoon ki mantri ji announce karenge ki kab Jammu Kashmir mein chunao hooga. Delimitation Commission apna kaam pura ki hai. Aaj ap kanun pass karayenge कि कश्मीरी माइग्रेंट से दो लोग आएंगे और डिस्प्लेस लोग से दो लोग आएंगे ठीक है लेकिन बोलिए हम जल्द ही जम्मू कश्मीर में लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली बनाने जा रहे हैं हम जो किए थे वो हम सोचे थे कि कुछ बनेगा कुछ बना नहीं हमने नाकामयाब रहा कश्मीर में शांति लाने को इसलिए Sir, I want to, in this uh, discussion, I do not want to oppose these amendments because there is nothing wrong in having two nominated members from Kashmiri migrants. But everything is wrong in the government's handling of Jammu and Kashmir, particularly Mr. Amit Shah's handling of Jammu and Kashmir, he took it in his hand that I will do what I wanted to do with Prashad Babu. I will abrogate 370. I will abrogate the state of Kashmir as a state of the Union Territory. And that place will be left behind. Today, here are many people in the Kashmir. Our two wars were in the 65 and 71. In 1947, Pakistani Hanadar, they are called, 
invaders. They captured part of Kashmir. And again, the militants took control of the valley. And because of them, people had to leave. We must restore normalcy in Jammu and Kashmir. Give back. We want to see elections take place there. We want to see a nationalist person like Farooq Abdullah again occupy the chief minister's chair. Only then will Kashmiri realize they are Kashmirian. Kashmir is very special. Kashmir is very special because unka ek alag Kashmiriyat hai. Uha koi hindu musulman ka jhagda nahi hai. Ya mat lagaiye yaha par Kashmir, Kashmiri ko Kashmiriyo se chala jai, Dilli se nahi, aur Dilli se bheja gaya governor se nahi. Mai yehi baat, ye do kanun ke baare mein bolne chata hoon, Amit Shah aaj maan le, ki unka jo košiš tha, Kashmir me naya kuch dikhane ka, jab jab phool khile, phool khilane ka, wo na kamiyab raha. Kashmir, phir, लोक तंत्र का रास्ता पर चले ये मांग करके मैं अपना छोटा सा भाषण समाप्त करता हूँ क्या ही इत करता था दादा पश्चिम बंगाल से आते हैं उन्होंने शामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी जी का नाम तो लिया लेकिन मुझे उम्मीद थी शायद उनके बलिदान के बारे में भी कुछ बोलते कि उन्होंने बलिदान करना पड़ा तब जाके कश्मीर कश्मीर में बदलाव आया आप आपको जरा सोचना चाहिए कि आप ये बात आज की कर रहे हैं क्या हालत रही है कश्मीर की किस तरीके से आप लोगों के शासन में जब आप समर्थन करते थे यूपीए को और कांग्रेस को क्या हालत बना के रखी थी आपने कश्मीर की आपने नेशनलिस्ट लीडर की बात की नेशनलिस्ट लीडर के नीचे क्या हालत थी कश्मीर में कितने लोग मरते थे कितने मेजर रोज रोज मरते थे कितने आतंकवादी वहाँ पे घुसे हुए थे उसका तो जिक्र करना चाहिए था दादा श्रीमती बीवी सत्यवती आपको बोलने का मौका देंगे पूरा अगर आप बोले अध्यक्ष जी बदलाव इतना ही है पहले पथराव होते थे लोगों को मारा जाता था आज कोई पथराव तीन सौ सत्तर पैंतीस ए के बाद नहीं हो रहा है बीवी दो हजार ग्यारह की घटना बताता हूँ नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस की सरकार थी तिरंगा झंडा में नहीं फराने दिया जेल में डाला था दो विपक्ष के नेताओं को लोकसभा के भी और राज्यसभा के लेकिन आज लाल चौंक पर भी क्या कश्मीर की गली गली में तिरंगा झंडा फहराया जाता है ये बड़ा बदलाव देखने को मिलता है अगर और उदाहरण चाहिए तो और भी मिलेंगे अब इस पे चर्चा होगी लेकिन कलकत्ता में वहां पर बैठकर विकसित भारत की यात्रा को ना निकालने दिया जाए देश में जो विकास नरेंद्र मोदी की सरकार कर रही है उन गाड़ियों को वहां पर बंद कर दें और आप जेल में डाल दें ये आपने बंगाल को क्या किया है ये सुधार कश्मीर में हुआ है जो बंगाल को आपने बिगाड़ने का काम किया है बीवी सत्यवती थैंक यू स्पीकर सर मैं जो कॉलेज में पढ़ाता था वो श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी के नाम में है उनका जो स्लोगन एक प्रधान एक विधान एक निशान वो उनका स्लोगन था वो पॉलिटिकल स्लोगन था लेकिन आज भी ये ये मान्य अध्यक्ष जी ये बहुत ऑब्जेक्शनल है इस एक देश में एक निशान एक प्रधान और एक संविधान ये पॉलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट है मुझे लगता है दादा उम्र हो चुकी है एक देश में दो प्रधानमंत्री कैसे हो सकते हैं एक देश में दो संविधान कैसे हो सकते हैं एक देश के दो झंडे कैसे हो सकते हैं वो गलत है जिन्होंने भी ये करा था उन्होंने गलत किया था नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने इसको सुधारने का काम किया आपकी सहमति ना सहमति से क्या होता है पूरा देश चाहता था और ये चुनावी नारा नहीं है हम उन्नीस से कह रहे थे एक देश में एक निशान एक विधान और एक प्रधान होना चाहिए दो नहीं चलेंगे और हमने कर भी दिया श्री बीवी सत्यवती श्रीमती बी